Hi, my name is John Knapp. I'm the co-founder of Source 2050. We're here uh, on 25th Street in Manhattan. A uh, great project that's underway. It's a firehouse retrofit to a single family home. And I'm here looking at the Coltraco ultrasonic port scanner today. Uh, it's an air tightness detection device that works off of ultrasonic frequencies. Uh, we have a transmitter that's just through the window here, we've, which we've set outside that's transmitting ultrasonic waves through the back of this house. And I have here a scanner that's detecting if any of those are getting through uh, the wall. So it allows us to detect whether there's any uh, gaps in the air tightness barrier that need to be remediated. So I've been scanning through with Kevin and found nothing. As we were coming around the door, everything is nice and tight. But I got to this pot spot right here where I started to see some, some activity some red and green popping through the bottom of the meter. So I talked to Kevin, uh, I said, what could that possibly be? And it looks like it's simply that the, we have some masking tape in here to protect the door, door frame and that the, the, full, the gaskets are not thrown on the door, so it's not fully tight. So Kevin tightened up the door, I uh, redetected it, it's airtight. The, all the entire signal has gone away. So it's a really nice test case of the sensitivity of the meter. Uh, but I was talking to Kevin, like if this had not been that easy to fix. If it had been somewhere else in the, the attic or something else, how would how would this have been useful to you? And if we detected it in the in the system, you know, that would you'd be easy to mark that off and then throw the crew and bring in some foam. Take a right. shape, take a sharpie, mm -hmm. mark where it is, and then fix it and tape it. Great. Great. Find a leak, seal the leak, fix the leak. Great. Yeah. And then test it again, make sure it's sealed. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And you can see that we, you're able to take a picture of every wall that you scan and then mark it up uh, with where you detected the leaks. And then as they're remediated, you can remove them. As Kevin said, if you've really got your air sealing crew on your elbow, you can also just mark up where it needs to be and they can, you can do a whole room and they can come through and then seal where they need to seal. So it's pretty interesting. Uh, instead of walking around with smoke pencils and fog machines and trying to track where things are going, you get a pretty crystal clear image of where there's any, any weaknesses in the, in the air barrier.